On the face of it, this is a normal fashion shoot with clothes from a Mademoiselle Chichi collection. The label features unfussy lines from sporty to smart. But these soft, billowing fabrics are made from an unusual substance, milk. Couture from Cow's Milk was the brainchild of Anka Damaska, the fashion label's founder and designer. She realized that there's more to milk than meets the eye. Milk is underrated because people only view it as a foodstuff, but you can make a lot more from it. Milk is a wonderful, natural, raw material. This is about as exciting as milk products get, and milk certainly has a lot to offer. The special thing about milk fiber is that it has a lovely silky feel. The fabric falls wonderfully, and it's cheaper than normal silk. But it's also made of protein, so you can wash it normally, and it's really very easy to care for. But how is milk turned into fabric? Anna Damaska and her team have developed a special procedure. The main ingredient is a protein derived from sour milk, but they had to do a lot of experimenting to arrive at a final product. We tested it over many years until we came up with the ideal recipe. It's a bit like experimenting with the ingredients you have in your kitchen cupboard. Like baking in a way. The mixture is processed in a lab near the northern German city of Bremen. It's heated up and then pressed through something akin to a mincing machine to create the threads. The milk used is substandard and would otherwise have been thrown out. A fashion designer who came up with a complicated procedure to create an organic fiber. That sounds unusual, but not for Anka Damaska. Up to now, she has successfully divided her time between fashion and science. She learned how to dress make when she was small from her great-grandmother, a milliner. Then, when she was at school, she won a competition for up-and-coming young scientists. After leaving school, she went to Japan and sold t-shirts that she had designed herself in Tokyo. On her return to Germany, she started to study microbiology and set up her fashion label Mademoiselle Shishi on the side. I've always managed this balancing act between science and fashion quite successfully. I went to university by day and then I travelled back to Hanover and managed my firm in the evening and developed my collection. In 2003, she produced her first collection. She presents her designs at fairs and fashion shows in Japan and Europe, such as in Milan in 2010. Her breakthrough came when well-known actresses were seen wearing her clothes. Her US PR agent communicated the good news. When she saw it on TV, she was really excited and she rang me up and said, I think that I've just seen your dress on TV. Misha Barton is wearing it. That's a great feeling. I can't describe it. It gave me a real high. Her milk fiber fashion is revolutionary and is going on show this summer. She's already received inquiries from around the world. Anka Damaska has big plans. We see milk fiber as an alternative to cotton. The special thing about it is that we can manufacture it without using any pesticides or chemicals, and it only takes an hour to produce. That's very environmentally friendly. It saves resources. Green fashion with a difference. Regular customer Johanna Bednarek is visiting the showroom in Hanover. She didn't want to wait until the new collection arrived in the shops. The fabric feels really great, almost like silk. In summer it's really nice if the temperature's going up and down. I think I don't perspire as much. The designs cost between 150 and 200 euros. And thanks to the huge demand, Anka Damaska is now planning a milk fiber collection for men. <laughs>